What's up guys, Mr. Slint here with another video about Team Fortress 2. And today I'm going to tell you about when to best use the crossbow and how to use the crossbow when you're playing Medic. The crossbow is an incredibly powerful weapon. Probably, actually easily, the best Medic primary. Way better than all the other needle guns uh, that you could possibly use for Medic. So, definitely, definitely recommend using the crossbow when you're playing Medic. However, you have to be careful about how you use it and when you use it because it has incredible burst healing potential. But it's also kind of those, one of those like high risk, high reward kind of plays where if you hit the shot, it's awesome. And if you miss, you just wasted a lot of time. So today we're going to go over when you should be using the crossbow and like why you want to be using the crossbow. And then I'll talk about like some tips and tricks for how you can best use it. So some basic stats on the crossbow before we get started. Uh, if you heal somebody at point blank, it's going to heal for a minimum of 75 health. And at max range, it'll heal for 150 uh, the thing about the crossbow is that it's really to be used on people who are low health. So when you see me playing, you're going to notice that I'm going to be spending my time healing with my metagun most of the time. And I recommend that you heal about 95% of the time with the metagun. Like only 5, maybe 10% of the time should you be using the crossbow. And even then, like, you're going to notice that I only pull out the crossbow in select situations because I don't really want to miss and waste healing potential. Uh, another scenario where I'm using the crossbow is where, oh, like is that heavy right there, long range, and he's he's very slow, so it's very easy to hit him. Like this is a great scenario. Like that heavy probably would have died, right? And furthermore, I would have had to run up to that heavy to heal him uh, and put myself in danger. So the crossbow also has like it's an incredible range extender because your meta gun has a, a limited re uh, a limited length, like short to medium range, I would say, and like. If you're wanting to stand outside of harm's way but heal somebody, like that crossbow right there that I shot on that demo man, again, incredible burst link potential. But you gotta be careful that you're not using it all the time. And you're noticing that I'm mostly using it in scenarios where like it's predictable. Like see how this guy's standing still or he's walking in straight lines. Those are the best scenarios for you to use the crossbow because uh, you're likely not going to miss. Now when you first start playing, <laughs> you probably don't know what you're doing. Maybe you just need some practice. You're gonna miss a lot. And I recommend when you're first starting out to just hop into a casual server and just just start using it like a fair amount here. Um, but you're noticing that like you don't want to be using it all the time. Like what I'm doing right now is pretty much useless. Like I'm just firing it off into random choke points. You don't want to be in that scenario. It's better to just run away, get to your teammates, and find somebody to heal. And my entire team is dead, so I'm gonna back off and get to people that are actually healing. And oh my god, my team is AFK. Classic. So I'm kind of out here all alone. You can fire like a crossbow as like a fadeaway shot as you're running from a scenario. So like let's say I'm running away from this hill, I would shoot it and then back up to spawn as I'm running away. But my priority should be to find my teammates. And the reason I need to find my teammates is because I want to be building uber percentage. And all this time that I'm spending shooting crossbows, I'm not building my uber. Man, this is like a terrible, terrible game to show off because no one is no one is playing right now. My entire team is AFK. Uh so yeah, like all this time that I'm spending crossbowing, I'm not building uber percentage. So I really want to be spending the majority of my time healing. Uh, right here, I have no teammates with me, so I'm continuing to back off. That's a spy, so I can't do anything about that. I keep running. I also have another rule when it comes to using the crossbow, which is I pretty much only crossbow if you're missing more than 50 health. Because... It takes time for you to pull out your crossbow, shoot it, and then switch back to your metagun. Maybe let's call it a second. Let's call it a second and a half. And there's a potential that I miss. If I just spend that time healing, I'm probably better off. So if that person has only 50 health missing, I'll typically just heal them with a metagun instead. It's better, it's like, it's better in the sense that, you know, there's no chance that I miss, and it's gonna build uber percentage while I do it. Um, Whereas, like, that risk-reward is not really there. Like, did you see that he hit that crossbow on the demo man over there? Like, I'm, I'm trying to stay out of harm's way, so I'm just kind of shooting them off into that distance over there. But yeah, all my teammates are just dead or AFK or, like, I don't even know what's going on here. See, like, I don't really want to drop down to this pyro because it'll put me in harm's way, so I'm kind of just crossbowing him from high ground as opposed to dropping down into him. So, yeah, you want to be doing it on people who, like, see how this heavy is not going to move? Heavies are really good for crossbows because they just don't move. 
Oh no, don't eat right there. I was gonna save you. <laughs> Still saving you. So yeah, heavies are like a really good target to crossbow because when they rev up, they're pretty much not gonna move at all. Uh, snipers are in a very similar scenario where like if the sniper is low health, like and he's scoped in, it's really, really easy to hit that shot. I kind of view the crossbow almost like I view going for air shots. A really, really skilled soldier or demo man can reliably hit air shots. It's just a matter of practicing air shots enough to where you're really, really proficient at them. But when you first start out, you're going to miss a lot of your air shots. And like, there's lots of like uh, offline maps that you can practice on for practicing air shots against bots. You could kind of do that again with a crossbow, but not, I mean, it's just better to do it in a public server. Um, and and I view it like I view air shots. I mean, I know it's not exactly the same because you're shooting your teammates and not enemies. But like when you're shooting an air shot, there's kind of a risk, right? Like pretend you're a soldier hitting an air shot. There's like a, you need all four of those rockets pretty desperately. Like every one of those rockets is extremely valuable. And if you miss, you just like screwed yourself over because you, you're now down a rocket. Whereas if you just let the guy land and then splash damage him on the ground, it's really, really easy. And it's kind of like that with the crossbow where like, I could go for this crossbow shot or I could just use my metagun and it takes a little bit longer to heal the person, but at least I guarantee that the health is going to go through. And that's where you kind of have to make this trade-off decision of like, am I going to go for something reliable or am I going to go for the flashy thing or maybe the, the thing that's going to save my teammate's life. And sometimes you got to take that high risk play. Sometimes you have no choice. You just got to go for it um, and, and go for the high risk play and, and maybe you'll win. Um, but then there's also scenarios like air shots too, where there's easy air shots and there's hard air shots, right? I could go for really hard crossbow shots or there's much easier ones that I'm gonna hit every single time because my teammate's walking in a straight line or, oh, at like very high levels of competitive play, you'll see like your teammates are just standing completely still for you. Or if your teammate is walking towards the health pack, you know they're walking towards that health pack in a straight line. So you can shoot them as they walk to that health pack and then boom, they're at like full health because they grab the health pack and they eat a crossbow. And next thing you know, they're like full, fully up. Or like this guy right here, right next to a dispenser, I can very reliably crossbow him because he's just standing still. Um, that's exactly where you want to be using it. So again, you want to be using it on players who are lower health. Like on my HUD, if I see their health go into the red, I know they're a crossbow target. But if they're only missing 50 health or less, I'm not going to crossbow them. And then I'm going to look... Uh, see, like a lot of these plus signs over here, these are teammates that I can crossbow. And even when it's point blank like this, he's missing... Enough health to where if I crossbow him, it's more effective for me. But you notice how if he turns that corner, I miss the shot. And so I kind of wasted time where I could just be straight up healing him. And building up my uber. So, just something to consider. Uh, but in most scenarios, like even here where my teammates are kind of hurt. Uh, actually, the sniper's pretty hurt, so I need to crossbow him. And this heavy too. Typically, you do want to be going for these crossbows. Uh, just because... Oh, damn you. You do want to be going for these crossbows instead of the uber percentage because having enough health to win the team fight is more important than that that couple extra seconds of uber usually. Um, you'll notice that when I'm like when I need to crossbow a heavy furiously or when I need to crossbow a soldier furiously, I like crossbow, heal, and then crossbow again, like. You don't just keep the crossbow out and keep holding down left click like this. You don't just hold it out like this. Like, you want to be switching back to the metagun every single time because the crossbow reloads passively while it's uh, while it's away. So while it's while it's holstered, your crossbow will passively reload. So you might as well use that time to get like half a second of healing in. So it's like heal, crossbow, heal, crossbow. And if you get the timing down, you won't waste any time on the crossbow at all. Oh, I almost died. Alright, I got an uber here. Kill this heavy. Nice, nice. Um, a really rookie mistake with the crossbow is spending too much time crossbowing. 
like when you're crossbowing, pay very close attention to your hit percentage. Every si every single crossbow that you miss is like time that you wasted getting better positioning or healing with your metagun and getting uber percentage. If you're hitting every single crossbow shot, that's awesome, right? Like, I'm not going to ding you if you're hitting every single crossbow shot, but if you're missing crossbow shots, you got to start asking yourself the question of like, am I wasting healing potential? Like, am I going for shots that are too difficult? Am I spending too much time trying to damage my enemies when I could instead be healing? Because remember, we're medics. We're not battle medics. You're not supposed to be doing a lot of damage to your enemies. That's what your teammates are for. Like, imagine if you're spending all of your time crossbowing from long range. Like, wouldn't you be better off playing sniper instead? You'll probably do way more damage per second as a sniper than you would as a crossbow medic. So, like, pay close attention if you're wasting too much time uh, crossbowing enemies. Just, like, standing here, like, shooting them into choke points like this. Like, a lot of a lot of low-level medics will play the crossbow lottery. And I call it the crossbow lottery because they stand somewhere, like, right here. And they just shoot crossbows into this choke point. And, like, if they're lucky, it hits a teammate. And if they're unlucky, it hits an enemy. It's not really the most effective way to play. You really want to be using it very intentionally to hit low health teammates who need it. Oh, that was a really nice one where I shot over that box. You want to you want to be using it very intentionally. And one thing you'll notice is that I'm using these like the little plus signs above my teammates' heads to know who to crossbow. And I can also use it almost like wall hacks. So if my teammate is low hurt, low health behind a wall. I can like use that to figure out when I should crossbow him almost and figure out which direction he's going and lead my crossbow so that I have a higher percentage chance of hitting. I am kind of shooting crossbows from this range, but only because I, you, it's, it's, it's okay to shoot crossbows if you have literally nothing better to do, but I don't want you to interpret that the wrong way. Cause a lot of people hear, oh, I have nothing to do. I'll just stand here and crossbow. But as a medic, one of the things that you always have the option of doing is getting better positioning. Like you always have the option to run away to a teammate or run away to spawn like so unless you literally like you're sitting in spawn there's no one there's literally nothing to do then yeah i guess you, i guess it would make sense to to crossbow into nothingness all right i got it we gotta go in oh block this please ah! <laughs> that's probably the round right there no uh that's the round all right cool so actually, I, that was my only death the entire round. I sacrificed myself to block the point. That was my only death. Um, okay, cool. That's the whole video. I hope that helps you out. Oh my god, look at that. Look at that low quality. Look at that low quality stream work. Um, yeah, I hope this helps you out, guys. Uh, don't forget I stream on Twitch, twitch.tv slash MrSlyn. If you like this kind of video in the future, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe. And I'll see you guys next time. Peace.